Okay, another new feature here in Trimble Access version 2022 is a georeference map file option. So what I'm going to do is georeference a map file. This could be a DXF or some other type of map file that you want to bring in. And for instance, what I have is a DXF that's in a completely different coordinate system compared to the one that I have going here in my job file. And so when I try to load up that map, this is a DXF file, and hit accept. It says that the selected file is a long way away, uh, away from the existing job. So would I like to georeference that now? I can go ahead and hit yes. And I'll zoom extents. You can see where I'm at, way up in the top left hand corner, versus my DXF file way down here. So I want to georeference or translate this uh, D DXF file um, into my coordinate system, essentially to match it up with my uh, current positioning. So to do that, I do have options to consider whether I want to fix the horizontal scale or fix the horizontal rotation. Both of those could be enabled or disabled. And we could also translate the elevations in one of these uh, ways that it allows us to do here. So at this moment, I'm going to run with the defaults. And I'm going to select two points on my map file and two points in my job. So let's go ahead and pick two points here in my map file. I'll pick that point there and this point here. So now I need to associate those map file points to points in my job. And so I have options here. I could hit the right arrow and choose list. I could key in something. I could fast fix or I could do a measurement. What I'm going to do in this instance is a fast fix. So I've got my GPS ready and I'm going to press fast fix. Observation stored. Now a line has been drawn on the on the map screen from my current position to that point in my DXF. I'm going to do another fast fix here on my second point, point B. Fast fix. Observation stored. And now I have my two point locations that match the point locations in my map in my map file. Let's go ahead and hit calc. Okay, so if we scroll down, we can see the scale factor, the rotation, the northing, easting, and elevation deltas. Let's go ahead and zoom extents on our map. And I'm just going to line up over another corner here just to make sure it's georeferenced into approximately the same position as what my GPS is saying. And it's fairly close. Remember that there could be some sort of scale factor or rotation involved here. So this might be where we hit the back button and we hit options and we uncheck the horizontal scale uh, fixed to one. We uncheck the rotation fixed to zero, hit accept and maybe recalculate it. So now you can see the scale factor is slightly different. We have a rotation. We zoom, if we zoom into our position here, we're much, much closer to that corner that I shot in and referenced from the map. So there's some flexibility there for georeferencing your file into, um, into your job. If we like it, we'll go ahead and hit store. And now a world file has been written to that DXF file to give it um, a georeferencing. And I've done this once before, so there already was a world file, but I'll go ahead and confirm this and that should be the completion of the process.